Hello and welcome to Let's Play 2 2016. This is 2K and I am here with Swarly and oh we have a locker room incident, Swarly. Oh boy. Oh boy. Let's get this one out of the way. Joey Janela didn't shake someone's hand, right? <sighs> um So like we could just I mean she doesn't really do much. Yeah, but she's also Eddie Edwards' wife. That's what I mean. So, like, we could just... Yeah. Like, hey, could you please get here all the time? Yeah. Nope. All right. Just soak in that picture for a second. Accused <laughs> of moaning about stuff and bumming everyone out. <laughs> what could he possibly... All right, Joey. Oh, they put my name on the show, but they don't actually let me book it. This is bullshit. I haven't wrestled since they put thy name on the show. <laughs> yeah, the only the last time they had to re-wrestle, I beat Kevin Nash in five seconds. Oh, fuck this company. Oh. All right, so Joey Janela's Impact. <laughs> where we have like six matches already planned out. This is a record for us. What, what if we started with a match, Nick? What if we really flipped this show on its head and we started with a wrestling match? What if we start with like a hot debut? To, I, I don't know where you're going with this. Oh, right. Uh, a hot X Division debut. Oh, okay. Sure. Yeah. I forgot we have multiple debuts this show too. Uh, all right. So we signed Phoenix. Hey. He's a main eventer already. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so that's a that's happening. Who's he going to beat? <laughs> uh uh he's a baby face, I assume. Yep. Tama Tonga, he's a lightweight. I mean he's not we, I know we haven't I know, him I know. as an X division. Sa Sanjay? Uh I mean Sanjay kinda sucks. J-Man? J-Man. I, I would say maybe uh, David Starr, maybe Tracy Williams. Those are kind of weird matches, though. They're not, like, flippity floppy K guys. K-Lib Conley. This might be a job for Caleb Conley, actually, Nick. So, cold impact open, Caleb Conley's music hits. I think maybe it starts with Caleb Conley already in the ring. And then it's like, you know, fireworks video plays and like, you know, the name Phoenix just comes on the screen and everyone's like, oh my God. Oh my God, it's Phoenix. Oh, the, oh my... the bird of war or whatever nickname he has now. Oh my God, Jeremy Boras turned into Jim Ross. <laughs> you got so excited he turned Southern. <laughs> uh, yeah. So we may have signed Phoenix and stuck him in the X division. Mm -hmm. And I did not realize he would be a main eventer. Look, brother, you can have two main event belts. Oh, yeah. That's no problem. Three if you count Joey Janela's. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of our boy, Joey, they should probably come out now. Yeah. Yeah. I was thinking more of like a backstage thing, but whatever. Ah, yeah. Okay, Joey in Joey's office. So, yeah, Joey, Joey's in his... We'll, we'll go back to this bit. Joey's in his office doing whatever the hell it is Joey Janela does in an office. Uh, I would probably, like, with his head down uh, on the desk taking a nap. I love it. Uh, and then Ethan Carter, like, barges in, like, kicks the door down or whatever, and he's like, Joey, why did you book that tag match? And he's like, ah... And, you know, Joey's all startled, like, ah... I, I had to do something. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah. Uh, and then, then MJF should come in after him. And he's like, Joey, why am I teaming <laughs> with the Lee boys in a six-man tag against the Wolves and Eddie Edwards? Those guys smell. I don't want to team with them. And he's like, I thought you would. This is a big opportunity. And then they're all just kind of yelling at Joey. And Joey's like wilting under the pressure. I think like... I think he wilts for Ethan, but when, when Maxwell's, like, yelling at him, I think he's like, I, I thought it would be funny. And, like, Ethan's, <laughs> right. Ethan's just like, it is kind of funny. Yeah, all right, fair enough. 
so that there's like an established pecking order. Ethan over Joey, Joey over Maxwell. Yeah. Nope, that's not. <laughs> there Lo we go. Lo load noises is uh like when my PS4 is trying to uh Wait. like yeah. The old PS1 noises. Oh my PS, your PS4 will do it too, fam. You, Mine you never put... has. You uh, okay. you concerned me. With I your... mean, I I I did get my PS4 like a couple weeks, man, a couple months after launch, and I've had it since then. So yeah, maybe my PS4 is dying. That is possible. <laughs> Perhaps. Yeah. Uh, speaking of dying, I think we should uh. This, that's not a segue, but we should have a, a second X Division match here. Yeah, sure. Get it out of the way early. All right. So that a a c h uh, and uh, David Starr. Sure. Sure. A c h wins. Yay. Uh, after the match, I think ACH's new friends are going to come out to congratulate him. Okay, I like this. And then I think, I think the other two, the other group of ladies should come out and then attack. I keep typing Bailey instead of Haley. It's weird how you keep doing that. It's, I mean, I don't know why I would do that. Yeah, it's not like we gave her a name that sounds identical to the one she had before. Uh, yeah, and then and then Madison and Lufisto come out and attack Mercedes and Haley. And, and what is ACH. what is AC, Yeah, I was gonna say what is ACH doing while this is happening? No, stop! No, like like he he's got like that like he's reaching out, but he's like, ooh, I can't, I can't, <laughs> I can't stop them. Ooh, I'll get in trouble. Unless you, uh, hmm have an idea hold on hold on uh ach is going to do something about it okay but then desmond xavier comes out and attacks him no now we're just this that has turned into some russo shit we don't need to do that okay we'll leave it the way it is my suggestion was gonna be like <laughs> he pulls a cell phone out of i don't know where and then, <laughs> and then like, he rolls up some anime and then like there's no calm down but that's, oh, that's so good but no let's let's slow down yeah it's too soon for that yeah i wonder if our audience can tell that lufisto is going to be the one to turn yet uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't no. know if we made it blatantly obvious enough. No. Guys, Lufisto really likes anime in real life. This whole time, <laughs> this whole thing's been a facade. Wrestling's a work. Speaking of works, you want to do another debut? Since we got uh, women on the mind, that sounded like a better segue in my head before I started Our, talking. The person that I need is here, right? Yes. Okay, let's do that. Okay. Uh, so we are going to have Rosemary facing off with the re-debuting Mia Yim. Hey. She is back and better than ever. I hope. All right. So, Swale, how does this match end? Uh, Mia Yim is going to win mm -hmm. with interference from Ashley. Oh no. If only uh, there was an alley there to like even the odds. Nice only. Uh, and then after the match, I would like uh like Ashley to keep beating up Rosemary and then meanwhile Mia Yim is just kind of going around the ring like I, I beat Rosemary. I, I I'm the number one contender. I did it. I came back better than ever. Maybe, I think she's like yelling this at the commentators so that us at home can hear her. Just steals the uh, headset off yeah. of Borash. And then, you know, uh, Rich Bacini's like, I mean, she makes a good point. I 
I, she does make a good point. She did beat Rosemary. Yeah, that's that's just a fact. Yeah, that's a fact of life. Um, we should do that that six man tag now. Sure. No, that's not what I wanted. There we go. So Brody Lee, Trevor Lee, and Maxwell Jacob Friedman Lee are going to take on Eddie Edwards, Davey Richards, and the third wheel. I don't, I don't like how you talk about Anthony Henry like this. I, I don't. I brought Anthony Henry into this company. I made us put him in a taxi with Davey Richards. And I really feel like you're shitting on my idea. Anthony Henry is, I mean, it is the perfect idea to put him with Davey Richards. Sure. But look at that tag team. <laughs> yeah. Two of them have claws on their shoulders. One is Anthony Henry. That's your fault for using an outdated picture pack. They don't dress like the American Wolves anymore. Or maybe they do for this match, all three of them. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. And comes. MJF comes out with a fake beard. <laughs> I, I know they. There's a shot of them uh, like backstage, about to walk through like the curtain or whatever, and uh, they're all wearing flannel. And then Trevor Lee's like, "Here you go, man." And then MJF just looks at him. It's like with utter disgust. Yes, like, absolutely not. Uh, so for this match, it's big schmozzy six man. Mm -hmm. uh, refs lose control real quick. Mm -hmm. uh, but I, I think the ending is going to come with a, a Brody Lee big boot discus clothesline, whatever whatever one you want, take your pick on Eddie Edwards. And then the legal man, MJF, is going to crawl over and get the, the shiesty three count to get the win. Oh, I think MJF should just straight up cheat. Well, I mean, he's cheating by using... Well, yeah, I get what you... Okay, so he just kicks him in the balls. Yeah, or like, you know, pokes him in the eyes or whatever. Yep. All right. Let's see how Eddie takes it. Well, seeing how I did not book yeah. anyone to win. Good good call, game. Good call. Oh. oh Eddie's a good brother. Eddie can see the storyline unfolding. Yeah. Uh, all right. So we're in the second hour. Okay. We have two matches left to book. One match left to book. Mm -hmm. We haven't done anything with Hagger and Seidel. Oh, boy. Uh, oh, boy. I, I mean, I have an idea if you have an, what, do you have an idea. I don't have an idea. Okay. Hagger egg. <laughs> Is your is that the extent of your idea? Just yelling hack rag? <laughs> no, no, I have I have more than that. Okay. So Jake Hager is gonna come out mm -hmm. and he's gonna be like Last week that footage that Matt Seidel showed was clearly doctored. I have come here with the raw, unedited footage to expose him as a liar to the world. And he's going to play like the most clearly and obviously edited piece of footage you've ever seen. Like it's like jumping around and like like it's like clearly amateur hour, uh, you know, edit job on it. Probably by him, and, you know, Jake, Jake Hager did it himself. Just, just real shitty. And he's like, as you can see, uh, I did not cheat. Uh, every, it was, uh, that was a clean victory. And uh, everyone's, everyone's wrong but me. And then I think Matt Seidel should just come out and be like, Jake, what is wrong with you? <laughs> Who did this to you? Not even I upset mean, anymore. Just like, yeah, like. <laughs> Like, I'm upset that you cheated to beat me, but, like, you seem more upset about it than I am. I, what, what, is, what is wrong with you? He's like, there's nothing wrong with me. Everyone else is wrong. I, I'll beat you again. I don't care. I'll beat you one, two, three in the middle of the ring. And then Master Bell's like, yeah, yeah, I'll wrestle you again, man. That's fine. We, we, you know, how about Destination X? Yeah, yeah. Destination X. Oh, we'll do it. I'll see you there. I'm going to bring my own camera so that we have real footage. Can't trust the cameras. Yeah. Liberal impact media. Good. <laughs> this is good. Um, boy, we have 
46 minutes left. Because we, we have a bunch of six-man tags, we're going to need to put some people in matches. Uh, I would like to put a promo before the uh, six-man tag of uh, the Wolves getting together. But just, you know, like Eddie and David being like, hey, it's been a long time. Hey, how's it going, buddy? You know, that kind of stuff. Good good to see you. Hey, an old Italian family? <laughs> hey, it's me, Eddie Edward. <laughs> hey, oh. Davey, how you been? Yeah, yeah, and pretty much. Anthony Henry is there. He is, in this case, he is 100% a third wheel. Yeah, like, maybe Eddie gives him a hard time. He's like, oh, well, you, could, you got a new partner? He's like, ah, you were busy. I don't know. Yeah, I didn't want, you had the title. I didn't want to pull you away from that. He's like, yeah, I know, I know. I'm busting your balls. They really are just an old yeah. Italian. Good. <laughs> Good. All right. Put that right before it, yeah. Yeah. All right, let's look at who we haven't used. Oh, Laredo Kid. Oh, we haven't done anything with Big Bird and Lashley. Well, they're going to be in the... Oh, right. The main event. All right, so we haven't done anything with Laredo Kid. Uh, what about Laredo Kid and his brother versus Desmond Xavier and Desmond Xavier's friend? Okay, that sounds fun. Uh, who is Desmond Xavier's friend? Desmond Xavier doesn't have any friends. He sure doesn't. Nick, I have an idea. Oh, no. I was way too excited. Back out of this. Oh, six-man tag. It'd no. Be, we promised six-man tag mania. We're doing it. Oh, no. You're, you're going to love this. I You're going to love it. I guarantee it. <laughs> oh, that's... Is it uh, is it the Laredo Tornadoes and uh -huh. Keith Lee versus Team Tremendous? <laughs> yes. God. Uh, Damn it. That's a good match. It's a really good match. Oh, <laughs> uh, remember the Ethans? <laughs> remember Ethan Page? Yeah. Those were the days. All uh, right. Who wins? I mean, Keith Lee has to win, right? Yeah. Yeah. Although I think like Keith Lee and Desmond Xavier actually have a match. Like like Keith Lee runs over the other two, but then like Keith Lee and Desmond Xavier are an actual match. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, like I'm not saying he's gonna squash these two dudes. I'm just saying like he should probably win. Oh yeah. He should probably pin like Bill Carr, Dan Barry. Yeah, he should what we should just keep that keep that going. Yeah. yeah. Dan Barry takes a real good ground zero. Yeah. Let's, uh... You you want to have Dan Barry be upset after the match? Like, no, he, it? I mean, he's dead. Oh, he's dead. You're right. <laughs> Keith Lee kills people. Yeah. We should probably put that lower than the other three versus three, just out of, like, respect. <laughs> Maybe the hag rag could go down a little bit, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, probably. So, want to book the main event and go from there? Let's. That'll I was go. going to do the the two like two three minute promos for the main event. Okay, that's fine. Like Will and and Braxton talking, and then EC three and Lashley talking. Real like late eighties WWF mm -hmm. shit. That's late eighties anywhere shit. Brad Sutter is the big bird now tonight. I'm seeing with Will Ospreay, and he's the, the fucking... He's a bird. He's yeah, an he's... Osprey. Ospreys are big birds. We are now the big birds. The big bird brand. Run over. And then Will Ospreay, Will Ospreay can just get on the mic and be like, He's a call That's an action X! <laughs> I'm gonna become the new TNA champion! And then Brad Sutter could be like, all right, let's turn it down a notch, buddy. All right. All right. How do EC3 and Lashley have a promo together? I think, like, they they do, like, a one or two minute promo, and it's just, like, Ethan Carter, uh, Bobby Lashley's, like, getting ready. Ethan Carter walks in, he's like, you good? Like, yeah, I'm good. All right, we're, uh, we're on the same page here, right? Oh, yeah, we're on the same page, for sure. 
But, uh, okay. I, I trust you, man. Yeah, yeah, no, you should. It's fine. Very, very uneasy, uh, uneasy alliance. Yep. Almost as if without the boss there, Bobby Lashley doesn't feel like he needs to be nice to EC3. Mm-hmm. But he's still being somewhat nice. Uh, let's see. It was Lashley and EC3. I know we just did this. Don't don't make fun of me. Braxton Sutter and Will Ospreay. Yeah. There you go. We made it. Who wins this match? Who wins this match? Um, Lashley pin Sutter? Sure. Okay. Get a little heat back on Bobby. Then he could cut a promo next week and be like, I told him it was a fluke or whatever. Yeah. Speaking of, I told him. Mm-hmm. Ethan Carter. Mm-hmm. And the show. With a promo about saying that Will Ospreay couldn't beat, you know, couldn't, couldn't hang with the big boys and look, you lost. Mm-hmm. That sort That's of thing. Right. And then the announcer's like, he wasn't even pinned. (laughs) I don't know which announcer that was, but. (laughs) This makes me absolutely sick. (laughs) Oh, oh, I didn't know we got Don back. Don and Mike. Ah, that calls out. uh... I mean, if we could have Don West back, we would. I don't think he's in the game, right? Yeah, I think we checked. I remember being very upset. All right, I think we're good. Do you want to book like some dark matches or something? Because like we have a lot of people we are not doing. James Juice, Tracy yeah. Tama. That's yeah. really. Yeah, like we have not been booking Juice. You know what we should do? Uh, we should hunt for tag teams. We should do that. Maybe we'll do that off camera. Well, we could just chuck random people together. I mean, no, I mean like throw people together and see if they work as tag teams. Okay, yeah. Let's have a dark match then. Yeah. It's a 2v2 match. Okay. Uh, Juice Robinson and his friend. His potential friend. Yeah. His friend tryout. Tracy Williams. Oh, Juice Sauce. Making the team of Hot Juice. Ah, Juice Sauce. (laughs) No, Hot Juice is better. Hot Juice. Uh, and they will be taking on the team of J-Man and Tama Tonga. I actually like that team. Yeah, well, hopefully they work well together. Yeah. I kind of like both of these teams. Don't, don't fuck us, game. <laughs> don't make this the main event, please, God. I did it. I, put it in the, I did good. Yeah, okay, good. All right. Let's run the show. I didn't pick a winner, but... That's uh, fine. Yeah, I don't think yeah. it matters. Okay, not a great match. Oh, hot juice doesn't work. Oh, uh, no hot juice. <laughs> Son of a gun. All right. But Tama and J-Man could work. There they is could. Potential. Should, I mean, I don't know if they should, but they could. Yes. Yeah. It's. Uh, we'll put it on the list. Oh. Oh boy. Oh, those two did not click at all. Fucking Caleb. <laughs> huh. God damn it. Why do we even give you a round? <sighs> oh boy. Everyone yelling backstage. The one week we put a match first and it bombs. Yep. It should have been a slam dunk. It's Phoenix. I know. I mean, that's fine. Yep. I feel like this is like a pretty much exact same segment was better. Like, well, I guess last week there was no attacking. Yeah, there was yeah. more talking. Yeah, they're better talkers than workers, which is bullshit. But whatever. What a strange game. Uh, these hag rags though, crushing it. Uh, just hag rag every week. I mean, yeah, it's either that or have them wrestle. Hey. <laughs> That's what Lucha Underground should do. Just. Hag rags. I mean, are strong reports. Uh, 
Uh, I mean, this is fine, I guess. Hmm. 49 is the flavor of the day, I see. Yeah. Okay, now yeah. we're talking. Yeah, yeah. Me and him give you your royalty gimmick. I don't Okay. Oh. The returning queen going yeah. to face the queen. You say that you are the queen, but it is I who is the queen. And the demon queen. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Uh, we might get sued for the demon queen. Ah, oh, sure, right, fine. Yeah, demon queen. <laughs> oh, I can't believe this got a sixty-one. I didn't rate Anthony Henry. I knew what I, I was mean, doing. Even then, I'm surprised it's got a Davy Richards and Eddie Edwards. People talking. love Davy Richards. They do. People love People Davey, love Davey Richards. Richards. I wonder if this is going to beat our main event. Oh, it might. Time will tell. This was like a good match. Yeah, that was a really good match. Yeah. All right. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Oh! oh! Oh, boy. Oh. My man, Ethan, not getting dragged down by Joey Janela this week. Hey! Oh, but it's, uh, you know, six and a half a dozen the other. Yep. I mean, this. I feel like this wasn't carried by Davey Richards. Like, this, sure. this was a match that everyone did good in. You mean to tell me MJF wasn't pulling his weight? In that six man tag. Hey, this is a good show, Nick. Yeah. We did it. We got another fifty nine. No, okay, good. <laughs> Woo! Way better. Yeah, Joey Janela's impact is doing good. We don't need no staying. <laughs> Alright. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. <laughs>